Check, check, check. These cheapo... I didn't want to bring my real headphones because they just take up a lot of room, so... Yeah. <laughs> a lot of, I'm doing a lot of uh, justification, justifying here. Okay, okay, guys, we're we, good. We do that all the time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm turning my phone off. Yeah, oh, so, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I wish I never called the show Film Wax because I love talking to musicians probably as much if not more <laughs> people in the film business. I like... I love music, so... Um, <coughs> And uh, one of the guys I brought on, one of the few musicians I brought on, is William Fitzsimmons. Wait, really? Yeah. That's. Wait, that's crazy. It's so funny. We I should. I had no idea of your connection with him either. That's we I love he, we we're, we're pals. William's the best. We I mean we've just been on tour with him for the past. I didn't know that. Six months. So yeah, I just saw this morning that I was I went on, I just went on your twi- tw- Twitter account mm. or something just to do a little bit of research and stuff and and i saw that and i was like wow that's bizarre. he yeah he and and just to yeah to say something really do it that great about william we played we played probably yeah. 35 shows together in the past uh what is it past like three months past four, four months five, yeah oh my and God. the first show we had never met before uh-huh. it was in pittsburgh and he was sound checking pittsburgh P- yep. Name of his album, right? Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah, where he's from. Yeah, where? Well, he's, he's loosely from. from. He's from okay. multiple places. Uh, I mean, no, James. he is. Didn't he? Wasn't he? Yeah, he has family. Okay, okay, he's yeah, from yeah, there. yeah. And um, sound check happens. He gets off the stage and he comes over to Sam and I and he says, "Hey guys, I'm just I'm so happy you're you're, you're doing this. I'm, I'm 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 so happy you're here. I'm such a big fan." I was like, "Is is it weird if you guys were to to sing a song with me after the show?" And after the show, or like, like, like no, 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 encore. during during, during the, show. the show, he right. yeah, and I don't after think. Your set. And my point, the point of saying this is not that he said he was a big fan, but because that he could, yeah, just, it, he's just, that's just him being nice. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't like our music, but <laughs> <laughs> what what I the point yeah, was, right. we've played so many shows with so many people who you just kind of watch the throne and people don't really, or you, you know, they don't even we don't speak to each other. Really? It's just this awkward like. You know, I didn't know that. There's just this like line between the opener really? and the person putting on. Sometimes, sometimes as, it can go that way. As you say this, and if you, if and when, I shall uh, let me rephrase. You, now that you're uh, you're saying this, when you are an op- uh, rather when you are a main headliner, headliner rather, yeah. how would you be able to do that uh, yourselves? You wouldn't. So you I mean, yeah, we would just. And William would, doesn't do it. Exactly. No, that's what I was saying. And yeah. I, it was just this, it was really, it was this immediate invitation to say, hey, you are a part of the show. Right. Thank you for being here. And then from that point forward, yeah. Yeah. our friendship started immediately. And now if he feels like a family member. We love him. We love He's his music. Best. He's been it's beyond It's so funny supportive. that you interviewed him too. So I, well, The world is small. He, okay, so when I was married, uh, I'll make this brief, but I was married, you, you know, you're, I was a child with this woman, so I, we're still very close. Uh, I'm actually living in her apartment <laughs> in New York, <laughs> right, Brooklyn. But I, I, uh, uh, she came back from a photo shoot. She uh, was a musician and she's an actor, very successful actor right now, actually. But she, she had come back from a photo shoot she did years and years ago. Yeah. And she says, uh, when I was there, this woman, Deb, who photographed me, she played me this music of this friend of hers named William Fitzsimmons. I said, I, I was in the music industry. I did not know him. And so she put it on for me. And then I was like, wow, this is great. So I, I just started listening. And then some years went by and I just started, whatever happened to my William Fitzsimmons music? I started playing it again. And I, and I seen him live like at uh, Joe, uh, I don't know Joe's where. Pub Joe's Pub probably in City Winery Play, anytime you come in I, I've seen two or three times once at a place called the Canal Room which isn't there don't look for it <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, and just and, and when I saw him the first time I went up to him I, and I said you know you know this woman Deb Lopez who's your friend she, oh yeah and you my wife uh, you know and I explained things and then I swear to God years you now later this is last year or the year before doing the podcast I, I said I really got to Get, he's coming to Joe's Pub. I want to get him on. So I contacted Joe's Pub. They put me together with him. We sat in the green room and he did it. And he did one of his songs. And But he remembered, completely knew who I was, remembered me, you know, and sweet, just just like that. So rare. It's, it is rare. And yeah. he, it's like good people yeah. in this, in both businesses right. can be rare sometimes. Yeah. Not even good people, because right. I think everybody's good, kind of. Yeah. But, but, I know what you mean. but it's just, he's just, it was. He's, he's the really best. good. He's really yeah. good. I just remember. So years ago, by uh, one time, and I went backstage after Joe's pub thing, and he said, "You're Adam, right?" I mean, it was like weird. I, how did you remember that? I haven't. It's not like we've been emailing or mm-hmm. in touch. Years ago, by that, so that that is somebody who's kind of exceptional. 
So he went through a rough time, but I only know because he would leak these very intense, uh, he canceled a tour, right? And then he leaked remarks about his life, but I was just hoping that uh, it sounded like relationship had fallen apart or something. Mm -hmm. It's my, always my guess. Yeah, he's he, and he's very very vocal very open, about it. Very oh, open about he's it. He's gone through. Yeah, he's going through his okay. second divorce. He okay. might be just right. about yeah. through it. Okay. And I see. I understand. And, it, it, and it's his story to tell. So you should actually catch up with him and do an interview. Yeah, I'll, I'll save is, the story because that might be something nice for you to actually, if you want to like reconnect. Or I, I do. <laughs> no, I do. I want to bring him back on. Yeah. Um, anytime. I would love to. You he know. has no. He okay. he he's, he will talk. He will talk. That's the best thing about it. But it makes sense not to put it on social media because you have other people's issues i mean in that regard but right. to talk about it one-on-one -on -one is a different thing right? exactly i understand speaking of which you guys have created a film just around what we're talking about which is exposing your lives together <laughs> so you, you will set it i'll set it up and you can jump in the name of the film is after so many days <laughs> we do it all the time. which you guys made yourselves and i'll have questions about how that was accomplished so you went on the road the idea was kind of a stunt at least going into it where you decided you were going to do a performance, 365 performances in 365 days, uh, sequence uh, every day, one, mm -hmm. one show. And then on top of that, you were going to shoot this experience. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Nuts. It, it was nuts. It, 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 well, I, I think it's funny because we, to a fault maybe, we, we love to perform. And, and we you know I, we were in such a creative sort of we were just in a rut and we were like what are we going to do and we had a a journal of a million ideas of like things to sort of get us out of where we mm. were we had just gotten married and this was the one idea that we were like we could agree on did you invent the idea do you remember how that the happened? idea so the idea came it was a uh actually in sweden and sweden plays a pretty big part in the tour yes. and in yeah. the movie um but we had made a, a record there, and it was a late night conversation with this producer named Lessa Martin, who we were working with. And his and wife, Lessa Petra. And Lessa and Petra, the yeah. two of them, we were kind of, for, for a moment in time, we were really just sort of a, a family, a little musical family. And we um, were kind of commiserating late at night over a lot of Swedish alcohol. It was probably not Swedish alcohol. It was probably alcohol from another country, <laughs> Swedish but alcohol. consumed oh. within Sweden. We, uh, <laughs> yeah, it we was. Were, we, that were like, we were like bitching about the music what industry. Vodka? Yes. Yeah. 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 Or... or Glug, it, yeah, exactly. which is like a Christmas wine or something. But, oh, right, but we right, were, right. we were, yeah, we were bitching about the music industry, and they were like, "You guys should just go out and like play every day, play all the time." And it was sort of like, "Bing." I, I think mm. actually at the moment we were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." But yeah. we talked you know? about it for like an hour. We were like, "What would that look like?" And yeah, right. and we it got was, into it. Yeah, and and it's it felt like wow, it's just it would just sm snowball, and people would get so enthusiastic about it, and blah blah blah, and then sat in the back of our brains for like two three yeah. years oh and that long yeah because okay. it, it was just something that we kept you have to plan out well, well we didn't even think like we kind of put it away yeah. and then we got married and then we were like should we do that thing and and one of the you say it's interesting you say stunt and i, I kind of appreciate you saying that because when it, when we first came up with the idea it was you put you come up any idea in life you can talk yourself out of everything mm -hmm. and i think pro and con when you weigh the pros and cons it's like well yeah. playing every day does it, is it a stunt? Does it feel too much like a stunt? We looked at it more, and we knew that some people may think that, and it's like, well, you know what? The pros list is 300 items long, mm -hmm. or infinitely long, because you don't know what the possibilities could lead, lead to, to. or whatever it was. And yeah. then mm -hmm. the con list was just that. It was just what we might get divorced. I mean, there was a handful <laughs> of things that, you know. that uh, made us maybe pump the brakes, but we looked at it more like this was the theme of the tour or like, you know, people have any band when you go on the road, you have this idea like Tom Waits will do, there'll be a name for the tour. And for us, it was like, great, we're going to go on this, right. this tour. And the name of it is the anywhere everyday tour. We're going to play every single day, no matter what. And it gave us the opportunity to phone up all the champions of our music over the past 10 years that we've been making music. Gather all your resources. Yeah. All that. All and be like, what what would happen yeah. if this happened? And we definitely didn't think what would happen ha happened. Right, right. Um, but, but yeah. It's like, yeah, you throw all this stuff in front of yourselves and you know that it's going to be, you're going to have all sorts of obstacles and challenges and gratifying moments and all, everything though is going to happen. And you're going to reach for that goal and go right through it. You yeah. can't go around it. In other words, you're totally. Yeah, and I think there was also there was also a thing where we when you're when you're in a 
a rut of any kind. Right. One of the things it's, that for us with music, the only moment we really felt like we were moving forward mm-hmm. was when we would play a show, whether it was for a small group of people or a large group of people. It always, those moments, it's something, the physical right. connection. Justified and then, your... It, yeah, yeah, it yeah. felt, right. you know, but then, you know, you spend so much time in the business of anything, wasting time doing stuff that isn't what you... Sure. Showed Love up to for. be doing right yeah. at the beginning. You get, you do express your frustration with this rut you felt you were in, where you no matter how you try to create this following, which will then lead to the next level or what have you, of uh, making a career out of music, you just c- weren't able to make that happen to break through that that uh, ice. yeah that yeah. that what have you. And so this was a great break through that ice. I don't know I don't ceiling. Know, that, that I, I just glass, ice yeah, glass, glass ceiling wall. made of ice. Yeah. get yeah, through that wall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Was it like so? It's it's true. So. Now, musically speaking, that makes all sense now, but as far, or that what you're saying about the uh, challenges of the mo- being in the moment of a performance and how that w- fills your heart and your soul and, and helps get through the next time and all. And then, but it does, and then you had the obstacle of the industry and getting through the, you know, use, being able to s- succeed with the industry. But as far as the film goes, this 365 thing is a great <laughs> 365 days of performance. That, that's a great th- thing to hinge the documentary on because you need something like that for a film and to market a film and to connect with audiences like you don't have to know who Jim and Sam are to go to this film because this is a great concept it's a great concept thank you you know thank you yeah it's I I think that was also part of it too when we started Mm -hmm. making it and and just you know we made this film uh after the tour with all the all the footage we worked with two of our best friends and we and we sort of the four of us uh Kyle Weber and Natalia Anderson the four of us when we were making it we knew we're making a film about a band that nobody knows. And that was something that we kind of, and, and because we had this tour and because it was this obstacle, that's kind of how we, we approached it. So it's not like there aren't these, I don't know how to explain it, but we well, really. But, but I think, I think mm-hmm. just like any story, it's, it's, it's not about the band. It's mm-hmm. just about, it's, a, it's about the story and, and what, and, and the music, the music in this, and the, the 365 days is just this vehicle for this, other thing that happens yeah. um and right. and we didn't know that until we were closer to the end but i think what was cool is we knew that we we knew we wanted to do this thing we knew we wanted to document it we knew things would happen mm-hmm. you know yeah yeah i yeah it seems clear by the end and i don't want to give too much away for, in terms of what there is by way of <laughs> endings uh, right. but but uh that that the emotional experience was something you could not have uh, predicted. No, it's what it seems like. It's there's a very the big moment in, oh, when you're like laying in bed together exactly. at the end of the tour. Ex- yeah, this was very. Uh, thought that was really uh, quite a powerful moment. Oh, oh thank well, you. Thanks. Sure. Uh, what, what's what, What's funny is I think, I think sometimes you can even talk about that. You can uh, idealize what those moments feel like or what that is, mm-hmm. and then you do it and you're like, it, it just kind of. I'm not even making full sense, but it kind of blows you open in a different way. Does that make sense? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think I think before the tour, and it still happens, we all fall into that thing, but we mm-hmm. were looking left and right a lot at what other people were doing, or you're, you know, you're looking on the internet and you're seeing all these things, and you're like, man, that person's got everything I want, or all these things. So we, we, we had all these things that were kind of like glaring at us that were in the way of us really trying, I think remember getting to the heart of what it felt like when I when I first picked up a guitar and I wrote mm-hmm. a song and somebody connected with it mm-hmm. that feeling or for Sam whatever it is for you I think it's so easy to again with in the business of trying to do what you love Anything. to do yeah. it's so easy to just get farther and farther away from it and we were at this film kind of and and, and I think making the films and and the filming every single day holding ourselves accountable with that having to play every day, holding ourselves accountable with that, no matter what, even if we were dealing with the business of booking shows or the business of recording, trying to figure out things. Mm -hmm. Every day. Every day we were brought back to this thing. It was this anchor that brought us back. Right. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Did you go on the road with friends? I mean, somebody was shooting you, right? You were shooting yourself? So So, uh, this is the question I'm I'm watching and I'm like, wait, how are they doing this? Performing, shooting themselves, and doing it always. It's losing our minds is what that meant. Well, I mean, <laughs> but we, but and having we, uh, real moments. I mean, I know it's a, you know, it's documentary films. Uh, yeah. 
it's well, arguable what's real and what's you know like sort of set up and all that kind of stuff but you get lost in this film you don't you're not thinking about that usually no so, i mean you know just it's it's it, tr- it takes you right into your journey but uh, how did you just on a technical level accomplish all that uh i'd say so well 70 percent of it we filmed ourselves it, it was like mics on your we didn't even have a mic we had oh. a little zoom recorder okay and we had a mic on the camera oh um because we just didn't want too many things getting yeah, in the way of if something was happening we couldn't be like oh let's set Put up on and your lavalier and <laughs> no so we didn't do well, any oh. we, we, and we intentionally actually not intentionally we just we didn't do any of that and then we sort it, it made it easier to just pick up the camera and be like yeah what did you say or like, or just we would have a camera going in the room for two hours and forgetting it was there, okay. or those kinds of. Yeah, I mean, when we when we first went out, we thought we were going to use all these things. We we mm. there was okay. so uh, I want to give a shout out to Clint Trucks who early on he's from Traverse City, so I have to just oh, yeah. just mention that. Uh, so um, Clint and Charlie, uh, they had made a film that we loved uh, called Call Me Lucky, which is a, a documentary, oh, yeah. and we phoned Sorry. up. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah, it's about the comedian. Uh, it's yeah. Bob Goldthwait directed it. Yeah. yeah, it's about uh, the the uh, Boston comedian. I don't know. Uh, uh, anyway, and, let's and, go. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> this <Yeah>. rabbit hole. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. but I was gonna say we had seen that film. We went. We we just said, hey, Clint, we're go- we're doing this tour, and and he's like, I'd love to give you a bunch of gear, mm-hmm. you know, to go out and document. So he came over, gave us a Pelican case full of mm-hmm. stuff we didn't mm-hmm. know how to use. I mean, we had audio experience, and I had done some video editing prior, mm-hmm. but the camera work. You know, so he just threw the camera in our hands. Our mm-hmm. buddy Mike Zvalin, who actually filmed a bunch throughout the tour as well, he, he we brought him out. He probably about twenty days scattered mm-hmm. filmed some things. So okay. there's some stuff right. where you can clearly tell in the film we couldn't. Somebody have else it. is there, and or yeah. just filming the the you know more beautiful moments. And then, yeah. And then it was also we if we found ourselves, and I, this is just I just do I think it's good to just give some just yeah, mention please. some of the people that were were a part of it. Yes. Um, uh, Kelly West, who's another uh, amazing videographer in Austin, Texas. Okay. When we were there, we were she South showed up. It, but you were also there before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. she was there to to capture those moments, and then um, uh, th- there's there's just a bunch of Dan people. Dan in London. D- yes, Dan in London. Yeah. And uh, Good the old Dan in London. Da- <laughs> Dan in London. Uh, he um, but but so just these different people that were there to capture these moments. Right. But when we went out we had a rule that was if the filming ever gets in the way of the tour, stop filming. Right. And, and just so people understand, uh, uh, this would be a much longer film if you included <laughs> a lot. It's surprising. Few number of the performances are or even sna- uh, parts of it are in the film. There's a lot of your music in the film, but it's, it's if, and yeah, but you don't actually, pref- usually you c- you're getting to the venue and you're sort of having your moments uh, going up to the performance. And then usually we then we pick up right after the performance ends. Hey, right. Um, which I'm sure there's lots of reasons why you chose that, but that if you have to worry about that, also like the film being part, that, that I can well, see that. It, I wish we knew during the tour because we there was there was a long stretch. We filmed every single show. We oh, have every single show. We have four. You didn't use them. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. We we didn't use a lot of it because some of it's there. Yeah. Some of it's there, but, but I we think didn't want to make it. We didn't want to make a just a tour documentary where we were right. or just or shows yeah. all shows because it's you know yeah. that would get. That wasn't the story, and that would get boring really fast. And we also didn't want to make a commercial for our music. We wanted to tell the story. This is a different story, right? Because yeah. really what you're talking about here is uh, dreams, right? Yeah. It's about dreams, yeah. about dreams and, 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 pursuit and goals. And, 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 yeah, and yeah, keep going and all those and, things. And the challenges of not strangling one another. <laughs> that, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Or the film does show you at highs and lows in all senses, like just, you know, personally, individually, as well as as a couple. And some nice things happen along the way uh, with friends. With Oh, I, I mean, there's some beautiful moments that happen also in terms of connecting. This is what came out of that tour the most, right? Not just the two of you, but people that you just incidentally met on the road. Yeah. I, I mean, and what's what's it's, cool is I think that uh, a performance or a song if you're open it kind of mm-hmm. becomes this like invitation yeah. to have conversations with people or get right. to know people or yeah. and so every day we got to sing yeah. somebody a song yeah. or sing a lot of people a song or one right. person a song <laughs> sometimes whatever. not even a whole song yeah exactly and 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 yeah. we and then the song would be over and then boom we would just get to sit and hang out and talk and, and yeah it's it, it, and what if you see when you see the film if you see the film i think you know the types of shows, some of the shows that we ended up playing mm-hmm. were very kind of non-traditional 
sort of things, mm-hmm. which for and we had to be really vulnerable in those moments, or else th- it would never. We, we couldn't get through a song if we weren't being that way. Yeah. And vulnerability breeds vulnerability in other people. So then we ended up having these yes. co- these conversations that were, uh, uh, I don't know, that were the ones that things that just kept kept us, yeah. literally kept us going. Yeah. So. Well, you guys share another thing with William, which is you set up this very. You have very your music is very intimate, and you set up a. Uh, and you do create an environment w- which is safe for people. I, I mean, just the way, you know, people can, like, just get out of the glib and ironic <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or whatever your mind frame might be and just sort of allow yourself to... It's head music in that way, you know what I mean? It gets inside of you, and then that's why I invite you guys on the show. I, I, I definitely enjoyed experiencing oh, thank you your for music. That. And uh, I was glad for after we saw, I guess I was at your first screening, right? Mm-hmm. Here in Traverse City. Yeah. Did you have other screenings? Is this We have one tonight. Right, uh, no, I know. Yeah. And, and before this festival, where did you guys show the film? Uh, yeah, we've showed it at uh, Dallas International Film Festival, okay. Cinetopia in Ann Arbor, and uh, Edmonton at uh, Northwest oh. Fest. And we'll be at Calgary in September. Okay, yeah. right, yeah. You got to show it in Sweden, right? You're going to have to have it. You yeah, are, we're, work, yeah we're, we're working we're, on that right now. We're trying, we're trying to get there, too. Yeah. 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 Stockholm must have a film festival or... They, I think they do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Northern yeah. Sweden provinces or whatever. The name of the band is Jim and Sam. Uh, go to wearejimandsam.com for details about upcoming shows, shows yeah. how to get their music <laughs> the uh, screen all the screenings all that stuff sc- can kind of be filtered through there festivals it's, it's all a one-stop shopping in that regard <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the name of the film again is called after so many so days. many days i know <laughs> <laughs> i i fall into this trap with certain titles that are sentences essentially so i get you know we, we i, I we li- i literally do that all the time yeah so i understand i'll it. never get it right it's okay that's a that's it's, it's <laughs> yeah it's, it's like okay. except when i'm reading it and i'm, I'm doing the intro to the no like the new uh, tarantino right. is once upon a time in a village with a sign on a hill <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. wait oh no it's once upon a, wh- once upon a time in hollywood land yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to plug that film no no absolutely <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. a lot of marketing bucks for that yeah totally um but yeah, it's called see. After So Many Days, after so and many After days. So Many Days dot com also has it. Oh uh, right, ha- okay. has the the information on the film. How do you get uh, so many websites going? Uh, what's your secret? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this is a great time to give a shout out to our sponsor, Squarespace. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, well played, though. So, uh, can you? What do you, What do you think about a live song? I'm, I've I've also had William play and a few other musicians. I don't know if you know. Uh, Mike Viola is a yeah, of course I do. Oh, yeah. oh you do. Uh, so he he, I discovered him also at my when I was at Sony because he played he did maybe one album at Columbia, maybe two. Uh, my my, I always found whenever whenever they got somebody who I liked on their label, invariably after one album they would be, you know, off the. Is label. that the Candy Butchers album? Yeah, it's one of the. Well, the, he did a couple. He I think he may have done a solo album as a Candy yeah, Butchers because, yeah. but this one it was definitely with his yeah band. It was his first album, I believe. Cool. It was at Sony. This was like in the '90s, and uh, I heard it, and I instantly became a fan. And again, another guy who I've seen many, many times. And then he was also coming to Joe's Pub. I took my son, who's fifth. I think I would love to sh- bring him next time you're in New York. I'll bring him to your show. But not a big music guy. He's 15 now. So I took him years ago. Our first, first show I took him to was the Weepies because I thought he would love that. Yeah, they're great. They're terrific. And then uh, I took him to see Mike. Mike. And, uh, you know, it was at Joe's Pub. It was a relatively short show, so that was good. You know, it's like 40 minutes as opposed to An two hour hours. Or, yeah, hours, exactly. Yeah. So, um, but he really enjoyed it. And then afterwards, we went down again and, and did, Mike did the show. His new album is very, a big departure. I don't know if you had a chance to. I haven't heard it. Have you heard no, it? No, but I, I, I want to check it out. You should. It's, it's, it's really, it really grows on you in a way like his past music, which is instant uh, ear candy. Yeah, but he's it, got that pop. Because did he write that thing you do? Yes. Yeah, so oh, he he, he wrote that song. Yes, uh, he didn't him. sing it though. So uh, someone else no, sang uh, it. I forget who sang it. I think he did sing it. Yeah, no, he does this vocals. Uh, oh, he does the uh, he the the lip sync. They lip sync. I forget the lead who plays the lead singer in the in the movie. Yeah, but Mike did the vocals for yeah. that, and then uh, he wrote um, also for Walk Hard. He did all the music for that yeah. film as well. So we had a connect. So I have the film connection there too. And he does. And he also, I mentioned to you the Ron Lynch Tomorrow Show, which I'm going to give a shout out. If you're in oh, Los please. Angeles, check out the Ron Lynch Tomorrow yeah. Show. Uh, but he does that too. I, I we've crossed oh, paths. We have we've sure. it's a small, di- yeah, different events and stuff. Small yeah, scene. I'm sure. So do you guys think you could do a song, or is it yeah. too much to ask? Yeah, we can do a song. Absolutely. Yeah. How, should we do, how should I mic this? Because this is. Uh, should I just put it down and 
Uh, but you guys will probably be standing because that's how you vibe. I know. Uh, um, yeah, let me. I could get Alan to come in also, and we could just hold.